everyone. Welcome to 2K Sports and another exciting edition of NBA Basketball. Alongside Greg Anthony and Steve Smith with David Aldridge on the sideline, this is Kevin Harlan. It's the Chicago Bulls facing the New York Knicks. Now let's take a look at the Bulls opening lineup. They've got Grant. Jordan is out there at B.J. Armstrong. Then it's Cartwright and it's Pippen in at the small forward. Shot clock at five. Screen by Grant. This one for three. Sprewell grabs the miss. Passes to Ewing. Johnson outside. Back to Ewing. It's hauled in by the Bulls. There's the pass to Ward. Out to the right wing. Some nice passing by New York here. Second chance shot. Ewing, good. And the fireworks begin. Should be an amazing show tonight. How good is it to see the first one go through the net? Now, here's Jordan. Nice fake, but the layup off the mark. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. The stream from you. Let's it go from 14. And the jumper is on the mark. Ewing's got his second bucket of the game to go. And knocking down shots in the mid-range area really forces teams to have to adjust their defense. And you know, the adjustments should have already been made. They know he's a good shooter from that spot. Basket good. And keeping his options open, Grant would rather give it away than waste the possession on a poor shot. Out to the wing. Here's Ewing, and the Knicks getting another bucket right there. Working in that mid-range area, the analytics may not love it, but that's a good look for him. Jordan passes to Armstrong. Outside Pippen, over Streetwell. Shots good by Pippen. Lethal from the mid-range. Pippen doesn't need much airspace to feel comfortable with that jumper. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. Johnson against Grant. And the seven foot one Bill Cartwright extends for the rebound. Jordan passes to Pippen. Good, and it's Jordan picking up the assist. It's a tie ball game. Contact doesn't phase Pippen, still able to get that one to go. Here's Moore. He's covered by Armstrong. Pass to Sprewell. Ewing with it. Shoots over Cartwright. Ewing, good. Ewing's got eight. Passing is a nice bonus you get from Sprewell. He's got vision and looks to get others involved. Pippen kicks to Jordan. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. And yes, it's good. Good way to start this game. You want to get him rolling as early as possible. And we know once he gets in the rhythm, he's a really tough guy to stop. Here's Freewell, still without a basket. And Ewing slams it in. And once he gets clear off the screen, there is no stopping him. <laughs> no, not when there's a flush waiting to happen. That's a big time move and a big time finish. And the Bulls decide to take their first time out here. Jordan and slam dunk by Jordan yeah it's like he just keeps going up and up limitless vertical for MJ here's Houston 
Defended by Jordan. And stolen by Jordan. Pass to Pippen. Grant outside. Here's Jordan. He feeds it to Pippen. Stolen by Ewing. To the wing right side. Blocking foul for Michael Jordan. First personal foul. First team foul. Here's Ward. He's covered by Armstrong. The pass to Ward. Let's the free fly. And it's Jordan with the rebound. Michael Jordan. And so Jordan will bring it up for Chicago. First team. Pass to Pippen. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Pippen's got six. Uh, and I like what the defense is thinking here, but Pippen gets physical inside and insists on getting to his shot. The rebound by Pippen. The Bulls leading. Executing to perfection right now offensively. I mean, in total sync, good luck trying to stop him now. Here's Armstrong. He has yet to score. They get the rebound. Grant dishes to Pippen. Here's Houston. Here's Ward. And the rejection by Pippen. And it's always been about the effort defensively for Pippen, known as a stopper and a fantastic shot blocker to boot. Now, here's Pippen. Six points for him. And the dunk by Grant. A fantastic dunk. And he hangs around up there just for a little camera time. Yeah, maybe he didn't want to land awkwardly. Who knows? But there he is, and we see it very clearly. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here. Moving it around. Here's Freewell. Still scoreless. Shot clock at six. New York, no good that time either. And that is the exact type of opportunity this offense is looking to create. You know, if you get the ball to the right guy in the right spot, more often than not, you're coming away with points. And you know how that plays going to end. Jordan in the air, adjusting effortlessly. Sprewell, the pass to Ward, kicks it to Johnson. Johnson with a screen on Jordan. Houston shots good. And we see Houston take a healthy amount of threes for a reason. This guy very accurate from beyond. Now here's Pippen. He's got six. Grant sets a screen for Pippen. Inside. Pulls it from 20. It's all in by Larry Johnson. Hard to create space in that mid-range area. He would have been better passing that off. Sprewell, the pass to Ewing. Ball's knocked loose. One-on-one -on -one fast break. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Yeah, catching the defender there off balance. Jordan with the great strength to convert through contact. Let's see what he can do there at the line. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Bulls. Establishing a paint presence 
early in the game, it really helps and pays big dividends down the line because it frees up your perimeter. And also, they've been draining mid-range jump shots, measuring the defense well, and just taking what they give them. Next trail by six. Here's Ward. No scoring in this one. Sprewell, that's good. Terrific play. This is why you run your offense through him and live with the results. Pass to Pippen. Outside, Jordan. Poke loose. And a fast break now for the Knicks. That one, no good. Some solid defense from Grant. Jordan looking around. And even three on three break. Here's Sprewell. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. Just great anticipation and awareness to come up with the steal and then trigger the fast break. Grant the pass to Jordan. Feeds it to Pippen. Up and in for the basket. Number four. That makes him four for five now. Yeah, and this is what happens when you have a scorer like Jordan on the floor. He attracts all that attention defensively, leaving guys wide open. Houston can't get it to go. Doesn't register as a block, but he did everything you want defending that shot. You know what he did? He timed it well and did a good job of contesting without committing the foul. Oh, oh inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat, and he makes that one. Sprewell's got six. And that's just showing off right there, guys. I mean, he is too good with that crossover. And they double up Jordan. Here's Cartwright. Knicks with the rebound. Unusual for him, just a lack of concentration. Fails to finish the play. Thomas. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Effort play pursuing the basketball. Love how he puts in the work. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the game here. At the line for New York. At the line. One shot. Free throw no good for Thomas. And here are the Bulls now. Here's Tucker. Tries again. Misses the layup. New York trailing. Child guarded by Pippen, right wing. One forty-four left here in the opening quarter. High percentage look for him, but bottom line, they're not all going to go down. On the wing, Williams. Back to Pippen. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. The jump hook, knocked down by the seven-footer, Purdue. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. This is a discreet one. Childs, guarded by Paxson. Johnson in the corner. And the pass to Sprewell. Just five on the clock. Puts up a deep three. Houston shots good. Houston's got a couple of threes now in the first for New York. Here is Paxson. Nothing on the board. Pass to Tucker. 46 seconds left in the first quarter. Back to Paxson. Pass to Williams. Johnson with the defensive effort. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the New York Knicks. They trail by one. Passes it to Sprewell. And the call will be against Scotty Pippen. That is his first foul of the game. 13. Substitution. 
position on the court. There's 18 seconds left to play in the first quarter. The pass to Ewing. Five to shoot. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Ewing's got 12 points in the game. And how about the muscle inside from Ewing? Easily getting to wherever he wants to on that low block. It went in. Oh, what a shot! It went in. That's a miracle. Are, are you kidding me? I didn't think that shot had any chance of going in. Just shows you that anything can happen in this game. And so it's Michael Jordan making things happen for the Chicago Bulls. What an amazing quarter. There was absolutely no stopping him. And don't go away. We'll be... And getting going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. And guys, what's your take on the Bulls so far? Way to set the table. Offensively, they dominated on the interior. They came in looking to attack from the get-go, willing to be physical and setting the tone. Smith is out there with Thomas. Then there's Ewell. And it's Smith. They're the group New York will start the second half. Childs guarded by Paxson. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. Substitution for the Knicks. Marcus Tanvey. David Wingate. Chicago leading. Paxson with the ball. Hasn't made one yet. Outside Williams. There's the feed to Jordan. The kick out to Williams. Out left to the wing. Down to five on the shot clock. The Bulls need to get a shot on. Jordan with the bucket. And there are nights it really doesn't matter what you do defensively. MJ is going to score, and this is looking like one of those nights. It's Thomas on the wing. Pass to Wingate, and here's Ewing. Here is Wingate. On the wing, Ewing. New York needs to get off a shot. Rebound by Williams. Chicago leading by four. Back to Jordan. Thomas grabs the rebound. Just about a minute and a half has gone by here in the second. Ewing sets a screen for Thomas. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. First personal foul. First team foul. This is his first free throw of the game. Patrick Ewing at the line. Two shots. First one falls for And he makes the first, but misses the second. Chicago leading by three. Jordan kicks to Williams. He's looking for Jordan and finds him. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. First person. And you can just see the extraordinary competitiveness. MJ staying laser focused after absorbing the contact. This trip is his second to the free throw line in this one.
and the defining trait of the greatest of superstars, Jordan makes the players around him better, mentally, in terms of effort, and in terms of their performance. Ewing, the pass to Wingate. Some nice passing by New York here. Ewing kicks to Thomas. Over to the left wing. And the shot is good. The Chicago lead has been cut down now to just four in the basket from Camby. That pass into the paint, that is a work of art there. Dead on target. Purdue with a screen on Thomas. To the paint. And the basket by Purdue. Purdue's got the lead back up to six now for Chicago. Now how about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. Pass to Wingate. It's Thomas on the wing. The dish to Canby. Knocked away. Paxson with the steal. And they're moving it up. And Jordan gets it to go on the assist from Tucker. Jordan's got 23 points. Any chance you get, you want to put yourself in a position to succeed, and that's what he did there. Great job of reading the floor, got to the rim, and made a play. Ewing the pass to Thomas. Passes it to Wingate. Purdue with the rebound. Chicago leading by eight. Jackson kicks to Jordan. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. A beautiful fadeaway jumper by Jordan. And that time, the screener rolls, and Jordan has room to get the shot he wants, makes a good decision to keep that one himself. And there's the pass to Ewing. Now Thomas. Over to the wing. Jordan with the steal. Here he goes. And then Jordan slams it in. You won't find a much more entertaining sight. I'd call that slam dunk contest level. Knicks trail by 12. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. Michael Jordan really making a difference here. You know, he's been a one-man record crew down low. His consistent scoring has dictated the pace of this game. We'll see if they decide to front him, bring a quick double, or maybe even both to try to slow him down. Chicago. Cartwright's checked in for Purdue. And Armstrong subbed in for John Paxson. So here is New York, a 12-point game. Sprewell, the pass to Ward, to the middle. Here's Johnson. The shot goes in, first of the night. He's one for three to start the game. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. And Tucker kicks to Williams. He dishes it to Jordan. 
Smith, the teardrop, and that one is good. Jordan. Jordan's got the lead up to 12 now for the Bulls. They just won't miss. I mean, this is incredible. Good shooting can be contagious. You see the confidence running through this team right now. Cranes it from beyond the arc. Ward's got it back down to a single-digit deficit for the Knicks. Not just a knockdown shooter, he does a great job of finding space for his shot. And slam dunk by Jordan. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Pass to Ewing. Shoots over Cartwright, and the Knicks good for two. And one reason why Ewing is not only an all-star talent, but a Hall of Fame talent. Awesome at getting to his spots and then capitalizing. Drives to the hoop. And Tucker kicks to Jordan. Williams sets a screen for Jordan. Shoots. And the Bulls tack on two more. And that pick takes the D totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Here's Warren. Pass to Ewing. Over Cartwright. Ewing can't get it to go. Very surprising. He gets the ball where he wants it in a decent matchup. And here's Armstrong. Still yet to score. And a fast break now for New York. Getting the wait is now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thank you, Kevin. In 2022, LeBron James joined Michael Jordan as the only NBA players who are also billionaires. But with the growth in player salaries, that's probably going to change. In fact, for those players entering the league now, every rookie class may contain one or two future billionaires. Good work if you can get it, Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> no kidding, DA. Thank you. <laughs> New York calls timeout. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. Next trail by 11. Here's Moore. Pass to Houston. A three. It's not going to fall. He's taken four shots and made two. Now here's Pippen. Over Thomas. Pippen misses. Here's Sprewell. He's got eight. Oh! Yes! Uses both hands to slam it down. And Kevin, even though they're down, he's still looking to do the spectacular, and he did. Well, maybe this is the best time to do it. To the inside. Here's Jordan. Good, and Grant gets the assist. Jordan's got 35. The high percentage look for Jordan it has every move you could ask for in the painted area. Or the pass to Sprewell. Johnson the screen. The pass to Houston. Six on the shot clock over Jordan. Pass to Houston. Here's Sprewell. Here's Ward. Johnson the screen. The second chance effort. Grant gets the rebound. Pippen feeling it out a bit. He kicks it to Armstrong. Grant the pass to Jordan. Jordan is doubled. Here's Cartwright, and they pick up two. Cartwright's got the lead up to 13 now for the Bulls. Here's Ward. Thomas a screen. Pass to Houston. Launches it. 
Bill Cartwright grabs the rebound. Cartwright's got four rebounds in this game. Now Jordan, he has 35. Down low, lets it go, and there's Grant on the assist by Jordan. Grant's got his second basket. And they're getting points, they're getting stops, and this is how they'd like to play all the time. Yes, when it's going good, it feels easy. These are the nights you relish, but they're tough to replicate. This is it to Houston. Johnson the screen, jacks up a three, and it's Chicago with the rebound. Armstrong with it. And here is Jordan. Grant sets a screen for Jordan. Inside, a 10-footer. Here's Cartwright, and he makes good on the way. And the Bulls lead by 17. That's just staying in the moment, keeping with the current possession. Now the pass to Sprewell. Johnson outside. Some nice passing by New York here. There's a screen. Here's Sprewell. And again, it's the Knicks missing. And the Bulls with possession. They're on a 14-6 run. Outside Jordan. Floats it up for Pippen. Hammers the alley through. And the pass there floated it up to the precise spot it needed to be. And no messing around on the finish. He powers it through. Or the pass to Thomas. Here's Sprewell. Here's Ward. Pass to Houston. Puts up a three. Sinks the three-pointer. Houston's got nine. Defensively, you have to tighten up on him or suffer the consequences. Chicago calls timeout. Chicago. Patrick Ewing's checked in for the Knicks. And Chicago also making a switch. Paxson's checked in. Substitution on the court. 103 left in the second quarter. Offside Pippen over Sprewell. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. Here's Sprewell. He's got 10. 43 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Pass to Ewing. Rebound by the Bulls. Grant's got his fifth rebound in this one. It's Pippen on the wing. Ten points for him. It fails to fall. Now shooting just a little better than 50%. Five for nine. Passes it to Ward. Here's Sprewell. Johnson in the corner. The pass to Sprewell. Just five to shoot. Tipped away. Some solid defense from Grant. And through one half, it hasn't even been close. The Bulls on top. They lead by 18. And we'll be back right after halftime to get the third quarter underway.
Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. You look at Michael Jordan in this game. He has been everywhere. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. This is his challenge, to continue to dominate, to help them try to close strong here in the second half. So the Bulls five right now. They've got Cartwright. B.J. Armstrong is out there with Michael Jordan. Then there's Grant, and it's Pippen in at the three. Pippen with the wide open look. A three-pointer off the mark. Defensively, it's hard to account for everything. They gambled off him, and it worked. Pass to Houston from past the arc. And again, New York with the triple. And you can tell he's looking for his shot. He just believes it. You know why? Success breeds confidence. And he's certainly been successful from there time and time again. Pippen, the pass to Jordan. The shot's good on the assist by Pippen. Pippen's got three assists now in this one. And not much else you can do. I mean, defensively, you try to make it hard on Jordan without fouling, but he's just too dialed in. Here's Ewing, double team on Ewing, to the right side. Johnson with a screen on Armstrong. Shot from 12. And it's Johnson with the jam. Oh, you got a feel for a guy getting dunked on like that. I mean, he's got no shot to stop that unless maybe he can pick up another foot somewhere. Here's Pippen, and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. His agility makes Pippen so dangerous inside. He can create contact while also being able to get the shot off. The Bulls have had two chances at the line already, making them both. And the first one drops. Pippen, simply put, one of the best small forwards of all time. A defensive powerhouse and a fearless scorer. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Just over a minute and a half have passed here in the third quarter. And they call an illegal screen here. Beyond the leaning, you could see his feet weren't set on that screen. Easy call. So difficult to stay planted, especially with all the motion around you. Annoying turnover. And that's a block right there. He swats that ball away with some energy. And this is how you protect and grow a lead by making a huge effort on that end of the floor. Grant sets a screen for Pippen. He feeds it to Grant. Back to Pippen. Six to shoot. And there's the block. Just stops it cold and takes possession. Sprewell, 10 points for him. Pass to Houston. Beyond the arc. And again, New York with the triple. And this is where Houston is at his best. So good at just catching and shooting. Outside Pippen. Brand sets a screen for Pippen. Over Sprewell. And Scotty Pippen the bucket on the assist by Grant. Grant's got his fourth assist in this one. And yeah, he's not messing around. He wants no part of a comeback in this one. Reason why momentum can flip so quickly. We see it time and time again. Teams giving up big leads. Steps back and fires. And he hits the jump shot. Pippen's got six here in this quarter. Easy to understand why they give Pippen the ball in that area because this guy knows how to take advantage. Here's Ewing. He gets that one. That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pick for the lay-in. 
Now, here is Jordan. Guarded closely. To the inside. And Jordan throws it down. And no one has better natural scoring tools. But, but another thing that really sets MJ apart, the acute instincts he brings to the table. Here's Ewing. Solid play on the low block, and that one's good. Ewing's got 19 points. Chicago leading by 14. Pippen outside. Passes to Jordan. Five on the clock. Shot on the wing. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. What do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for Chicago? I think they've looked to dump it down low as often as possible. And so far, they've been super successful using this attack. And something else that stands out is how efficient they've been from the mid-range, making the most of their opportunities. They throw good, Jordan. So Jordan nails both of them. Next trail by 16. Here's Ward. He's got five. Bulls foul. DJ Armstrong. Second first, no foul. First team foul. Here's Ward. He's covered by Armstrong. There's the pass to Ward. Lock at six. Here's Houston. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Houston's got nine points now in the quarter. Their ability, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. This was obviously a focal point coming out of the break. Look smart when the shots are going down. Here's Pippen. Wants to get it to Grant and does. And the shot goes in. Grant's got eight points. With the ball around the hoop, Horace Grant, a tough man to stop. New York calls timeout. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. And it boils down to the question. Toughness. One team showing it, the other allowing itself to be bullied. Williams, he's checked in for Chicago. The Knights go fast. Knicks and noise once again. For the Knicks, Franker and Screw. Show some. Bulls on D. Earlier in the game, they had a 19-point lead. Houston, the pass to Ewing. Drops it in from 11 feet. Ewing's got 21. Playing from behind right here. Not easy, but he is answering the bell. The reason why is not just scoring. It's the way he's doing it. Efficient. That's what you need at this point in the game. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. Now, the league does not like it when trade requests play out publicly. Commissioner Adam Silver says it needs to be a two-way street. Teams provide enormous guarantees to players, and the expectation is they'll meet their end of the bargain. He understands there will always be some trade requests, but he wants them to remain behind closed doors. Kevin? Good luck. <laughs> David, thanks. Another miss. Boy, they had their chance there, but couldn't get it to go. Pippen outside. Jordan outside. Over Houston. And Jordan gets it to go on the assist by Pippen. Jordan's got 43 points. Here's Sprewell, defended by Pippen. Has to ward. Ewing with it. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. 
It's going to be on Michael Jordan. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. At the line, two shots. Good from Ewing. Both free throws good from Ewing. Now here's Jordan. 43 points in the game. Outside Williams. Back to Jordan. Williams finds Jordan. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Just five to shoot. Here's Pippen. Goes back up. And it's good on the way up. Pippen's got 18 points. Another good play. This is how they built the lead. Calling on the right guys at the right time. The reason why they stayed aggressive. And they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. Here's Houston. And the Knicks miss again. The Bulls leading by 15. Outside, Jordan. And he lays it straight in. Jordan. Jordan's got 45 points. And, and when the score is as lopsided as it is, and you can see they smell blood in the water, my man is going for the juggler. Johnson, the pass to Sprewell. Here's Ewing. Yep, it counts. Ewing's got 10 points now just in this quarter. And he's really made the most of his opportunities today. I mean, he needs to keep working for those kinds of looks. Jordan kicks to Pippen. To the paint. And Ewing sends it back. And he gets it back. Left side, Pippen. Another shot. The kick out to Williams. Pass to Jordan. Goes up again. Well, it was only a matter of time, but they finally get the bucket. Jordan's got 47 points. Here's Sprewell, defended by Pippen. Or the pass to Houston. Johnson with a screen on Jordan. And stolen by Jordan. For the finish, some aerial skills by Jordan on the double clutch. A good job here. Jordan getting him in transition, and he does so much. You almost forget how dominant he can be defensively. Here's Sprewell. Ten points for him. Passes it to Ward. Six to shoot. Johnson with a screen on Pippen. Got a piece of it. And so Jordan will bring it up for the Chicago Bulls. 19-point lead, which is the largest margin in the game. And the pass to Armstrong. Back to Williams. Second shot opportunity. It's rebounded by New York. Here's Ward. He has five. Kicks it to Johnson. Pass to Sprewell. Here's Ewing. He's guarded by Williams. Ewing can't hit. The Bulls leading by 19. Now Armstrong. Williams finds Jordan. Now here's Pippen. Drills the baseline jumper. 20 points here for Scotty Pippen. This is a big time game for Scotty offensively thus far. He's setting a high bar for the rest of the guys on that end. Or the pass to Johnson. Driving inside. And it's good, two points. Johnson's got four points now in the quarter. And it's all about the release when you shoot the floater. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over.
The Bulls leading by 19 points. Williams a screen on Thomas. From 13. Pass to Tucker. Paxson kicks it to Tucker. Five to shoot. Here's Pippen. Back to Tucker. Paxson outside. Passes it to Tucker. Launches a three. Curls it from outside. Tucker's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. New York calls timeout. In for Marcus William Smith. And so it's Smith with it. He'll bring it up for the Knicks. Ewing, a screen on Paxson. At the elbow, Ewing. And it's out of bounds to New York. They'll retain possession. Do you love the pressure he's putting on them? Almost had that steal. Fantastic anticipation. He has active hands. Even though he doesn't come away with the turnover, he's disrupting their offensive flow. There's 31 seconds left to play in the third. Shot clock at six. Childs drops it in from 11 feet. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Smith against Pippen. Purdue the screen. Bounce pass Pippen. Terrific defense there. That's how you protect the rim. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead in this one may already have been decided. It's the Bulls running away with this one. And do not go away as we'll be back in just a few moments with the start of our fourth quarter coming up next. While we have the chance now, folks, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Creating plays for others, it's an art form, but it's also a discipline. Fantastic job. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. Thomas is out there with Smith. Then it's Wingate, then it's Ewing. That's the five for New York right now. Next trail by 20. It's Thomas on the wing. New York moving the ball around. Six on the shot clock. Ewing, a screen on Williams. 
They get it again. Another shot, and it's good on the way in. Ewing's got 12 points here in the second half. And Ewing with that size really creates a tough matchup, especially when he's attacking the offensive board. Purdue against Ewing. The pass to Jordan. Goes back up. Not going to go that time. Great D that time from Thomas. Here's Wingate. Props in the layup for two. Oh, nice drive there to get to the bucket using some of that terrific agility that he possesses. Wingate against Jordan. And the dunk by Jordan. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. And that takes skill and the ability to make adjustments as you're going up. Ewing sets a screen for Thomas. Pass to Wingate. Ewing a screen on Jordan. To the middle. Ewing misses. The Bulls leading by 18. Jordan, what's up? Thomas with the block. And he gets it back. Chalk up two there. Michael Jordan. Jordan's got 53. He's not looking at the score. He's staying focused and he's staying active. There's two things they rely on him for. Being competitive and bringing energy. Ewing sets a screen for Thomas. Ewing left side. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. Out to the right wing, just five on the clock. Kicks it to Thomas. From outside the arc, Purdue with the rebound. Purdue's got four rebounds in this game. Paxson passes to Williams. It's Jordan on the wing. Ewing sends it back. And now the Knicks on the break. Here is Wingate, guarded by Tucker. Chicago foul, John Jackson. First personal foul, first team foul. Johnson, he's checked in for New York. Smith comes in for Wingate. And a change for the Bulls. B.J. Armstrong's checked in for Paxson. Smith kicks to Johnson. Back to Smith. Shot clock at six. Child, he's covered by Armstrong. The Bulls leading by 20. Tucker dishes to Jordan. Pass to Armstrong. There's a screen by Williams. Armstrong with it. A 17-footer. He squares up and sinks it. And the efficiency is there, but the aggressiveness is really lacking. So far, it hasn't hurt them, though. Smith right side. To the wing on the left. Pass to Ewing. And here is Johnson. Hey, yo, right here. It's Thomas on the wing. They need this one. It's good from long range. How can you leave this guy that wide open? Please. That's terrible. And here's Armstrong. Williams passes to Purdue. Jordan, high post. And it's Chicago scoring again. And when we think about the excitement that Jordan brings to the game, but, but what about the offensive fundamentals? The, the, the man is a perfectionist. Some nice passing by New York here. The pass to Ewing. 
battles through traffic and lays it in. Ewing's got four this quarter. He couldn't have played it better. There was just enough room to get the shot off. Armstrong passes to Jordan. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. At the line for the Bulls, Michael Jordan at the line. Two shots. First free throw is good. The Bulls making a switch here. And so Jordan nails both of them. Next trail by 21. Here's Sprewell. This is to Ewing. They get a hand on it. Double team on Ewing. Here's Sprewell. Misses the three. And here are the Bulls now. Jordan dishes to Williams. Now, here's Johnson. And the slam dunk by Johnson. Excellent on both ends of that play. Yeah, the steal was sharp, but the slam topped it off. Turning defense into offense. Every coach talks about it. Perfect example right there. Jordan against Johnson. Shoots from the block. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Here's Ward. He is guarded by Cartwright. Pass to Johnson. Rebound by the Bulls. Pippen's got rebound number seven for him tonight. And the foul called on Michael Jordan. That's his third foul of the game. It's really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. Horace Grant, he's checked in for Williams. Bulls substitution. And the Knicks with possession here. Trailing by 19. Pass to Ewing. Johnson up top. He is guarded by Cartwright. They double him with Jordan. Down to five on the shot clock. Passes it to Ewing. And Grant sends it back. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. The Bulls leading by 19 points. Now Armstrong. Cartwright with it, knocks it loose. And there's the pass to Pippen, the dish to Jordan. Up top, Pippen. And Jordan throws it down. He has taken it upon himself to score the ball as much as possible for his team. He's not looking to pass it right now. A chance here to get a quick injury report. Thanks, Kevin. I just talked with the Knicks head athletic trainer. He said that he does have a broken nose. It's definitely a painful injury, but not a worst case scenario. David, thanks for checking in. On top of it is all. It's interesting. Even with the advancements in strength and conditioning, injuries continue to impact the game. And we're seeing that across all sports. Guys are just getting bigger, faster. The human body can take only so much. Pippen down low. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. Pippen's got 22. And what poise from Pippen inside the paint. The, the defense does everything they can, and still he's able to convert. Sprewell, the pass to Ewing. And here is Jordan. Here's Armstrong. 
Bulls moving the ball around. Cartwright against Johnson from 17 feet out. And there's Jordan. That's good on the assist by Cartwright. Yeah, nice timing there on that catch and shoot. Jordan with such a musical rhythm to his game. Here's Houston, defended by Jordan. Houston can't get it to go. The Bulls leading by 22. Jordan kicks to Armstrong. Over to the wing. Here's Cartwright. Lost contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. And he just big-boyed it right there. The height advantage he's got down low, really difficult for them to defend. Bill Cartwright. One shot. Free throw, no good for Kirk. And so here is New York. Here's Ward. A three-pointer is right on target. Yeah, coming down the stretch, they've become reliant upon their perimeter game. You know, when you're raining threes, you can stack up points in a hurry. But it can go the other way as well. There's a screen by Williams. Now, here's Tucker, and it's out of bounds. The Knicks will take it the other way. Bulls making a switch here. Kings checked in. Number 21, Stacy King. Knicks trail by 21. Here's Sprewell. Ewing outside. Pass to Houston. Here's Johnson. Fires for three. And again, New York with the triple. The D just sagged off just enough and no hesitation on his part. Now Tucker down low. Here's King. Nice pass. Nice catch and a resounding dunk. And he gives that rim a good tug on the way down. Well, that's how you drive your point home right there. Ewing outside. Pass to Houston. To the left wing. Here's Moore. Six to shoot. Johnson with a screen on Pex. Moore. And the Knicks getting another bucket right there. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Tucker the pass to King. And that one, good. King's got four this quarter. That's nice work stopping short of the rim. Just laying it over the top. One fifteen left in the fourth. The high post shot. Here's Freewell. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. Jump ball. Williams with the ball. Passes to Tucker. Now the pass to Williams. Put up and in by the 6'10", Scott Williams. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. It's called killer instinct. It's one thing to be close at the end. It's another to finish. And then Johnson with the dunk. And able to pad his stats a little bit there on that play. The board and the bucket. And you know, Greg, that'll put him in the good graces of that coaching <laughs> staff, too. My goodness. Here's Tucker and Ewing with the block. Houston, the vast award. Oh, 
pass to Houston. Ewing outside. Trying to break that ice cold streak. And that's two points on the layup. And how about Sprewell mixing it up inside, getting to a high percentage look there. And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I guess they don't need home cooking to feel at home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. And that about wraps it up. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching as New Balance presents our player of the game, Michael Jordan.